Hey guys, it's Marion from Attire and Beyond. I am in Highland, New York, and we sell new and pre-loved clothes and gifts, knickknacks, paddywhacks, all that stuff. I don't even know what a paddywhack is, but I am here to read Anyone Can Live a Happier Life. So we are on Feel the Feeling Attract Instantaneously. Written by Faith McKinney. My dream has always been to be a speaker and share the experiences of my life with others. At that time, I had no credibility as a speaker, nor have I accomplished anything that would be considered great. And I was also working as a janitor at the post office, mother of two children, one of which is special needs, twice divorced and bankrupt. Not knowing how I would begin my speaking career, I had beautiful business cards made with my name, my picture, and the title speaker, even though I had never given a speech before in my life. I handed out my cards to everyone I encountered, but I had reservations about my ability to actually give a credible speech. I felt as if I weren't being authentic, but I continued handing them out. Speaking was my main priority, and I was willing to make sacrifices in order to achieve my goal. However, I knew I needed training, and I didn't know where to find someone on my extremely limited budget. In the spring of 2008, world-renowned speaker Les Brown came to Indianapolis to speak at a networking event. I wanted to meet Mr. Brown, so I went to the event and passed out my business cards to everyone I met. To my surprise, I received a call the next day from David Bridgeforth, a young man just three days older than my own daughter. It turned out that David was a speaking coach as well as protege of Les Brown. Protege of Les Brown. David offered his services to me at a fee that was within my budget and I happily accepted his offer. For the next two years, I worked with David. His coaching and teaching was from the inside out. Before he taught me speaking techniques, he taught me to know my authentic self by delving into my beliefs and true desires and intentions. I have to say that this work was the hardest work I'd done up to that time. It was extremely raw and painful at times. Most of David's coaching was metaphysical in nature. Therefore, he encouraged me to always operate from a space of love. David had recently returned home to Indianapolis, Indiana, from a long, week-long trip to Los Angeles with his mentor, Les Brown. While in Los Angeles, they visited the Agape Center, a non-denominational wor worship center led by best-selling author Dr. Michael Bernard Beckwith, who was also featured on the movie The Secret. Hollywood's elite and everyday people alike gather each week to worship where, where the popular and dynamic Dr. Beckwith teaches. During my weekly Wednesday coaching session with David, he beamed with excitement as he talked about his experience at the Agape Center. His excitement was infectious as he painted a picture of thousands of people worshiping in this huge space that is filled with tapestries of religious leaders from every faith. As he spoke, he repeatedly said, I want to speak on that stage. And as he said those words, I thought to myself, I want to be with you when you go. I want to meet Dr. Beckwith, but I don't want to be just part of the crowd. I want to be up close and personal with this great man. I want him to see me and talk to me. I knew I wanted to meet Dr. Beckwith, but I didn't know how I was going to afford a ticket to Los Angeles. Find child care for my special needs child, take off work, get a hotel room, fight LA traffic and find my way backstage to meet this dynamic man. This was an overwhelming thought, but instead of focusing on how I could make it all happen, I came from a space of love and desire for David's dream to come true. I then remembered that in order to manifest what I wanted, 
I needed to feel the feeling of the experience and be happy as I did it. I continued listening to David talk about the excitement in the room as he imagined being on stage at the Agape Center. I hope that's how you say A-G-A-P-E. I don't know if the center is called something different. I imagined myself being there at the center with David. I felt excitement for him as he spoke. I closed my eyes and felt the excitement along with David. I could almost feel being with David and Dr. Beckwith. It was exhilarating. The next day, while I was working overtime at the post office, listening to music and emptying trash cans, I received a phone call from Heather, a leader in a Kabbalah class I had taken. The call was referring to a class community service project. I, along with a few members of my class, volunteered to work the phones for Pledge Night at WFYE, the public, public broadcasting station in Indianapolis. Heather informed me of the address and the time I needed to arrive at the station. And she also said, oh, by the way, I found out the celebrity guest host will be Michael Bernard Beckwith. I was amazed. Just the day before, I had imagined meeting Dr. Michael Beckwith up close and personal, but I had no idea how this would happen. But instead, Dr. Beckwith came to me. Just the day before, I had imagined it. The universe conspired in my favor. The solution was absolutely perfect in every way. Coming from a space of love, feeling the experience, and being happy helped me to allow what I call magic to happen. I understand that what I truly desire can manifest, manifest almost instantly when I feel the feeling. And I wrote, isn't it amazing how our thoughts really do create our reality? Isn't it? Wow. My intention in writing this book is for you to realize or see you can use your mind heart and body to change your life. Do I think you will? If your intention is to do so, you will. If you truly believe with your heart and soul, you can, you will hear that. You can and you will. Anybody can. Anyone can. If it comes from your very core, you can do it. Setting intentions sometimes gives me strength. It helps me to be more determined. That's it for this reading, folks. Anyone can live a happier life. The next chapter now I am going to read is Focus and Faith. And that will be soon. This is Marion from Attire and Beyond reading Anyone Can Live a Happier Life. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet and you would like to, please subscribe and hit the bell and you will get notified anytime I put out a live video. And I do my best to put them out very, very often. And I appreciate it. Thank you. My Poshmark closet is Marigold, M-A-R-I-L-G-O-L-D. If you want to go take a look. And my website is Attire and Beyond, and I am also Attire and Beyond on Facebook, as you see, and on Instagram. So, see you soon. Leave me a comment, anything, if you have any questions or anything.